Good morning, good people. I'm Father Dwayne Reinert. I've been a Capuchin for 51 years and a priest for 46. I'm speaking to you from St. Conrad Friary in Lawrence, Kansas. On our Capuchin Franciscan calendar today, uh, May the 11th, is the feast day of St. Ignatius of Laconi. Uh, he was born in 1701 and lived on the island of Sardinia off the close coast of Italy. And his family was a farming family. And he was the second oldest of seven children. Well, when St. Ignatius was about 17 years old, he fell deathly ill. And during his illness, he promised the Lord that if he recovered, he would join the Capuchin Franciscans. Well, he did recover but he kind of dragged his feet on fulfilling his promise and his father needed him to work the fields. And so it wasn't until he was 20 years old and had another brush with danger when his horse became very skittish and nearly threw him off that uh, Ignatius reconsidered his original promise. And so this time with his parents' blessing, he presented himself to the superiors of the Capuchin Friary of the city of Caligari. And the Capuchins were a little leery about accepting him because he was in such frail health, but they decided to give him a chance. Well, for the first 15 years or so of his religious life, he uh, performed the normal duties of a Capuchin lay brother in the Friary. And then he was assigned to be the friary quester, to go through the city and beg for the daily food and other material needs of the Capuchins. And for the next 40 years until his death, he served in that role. Well, roaming the city, he not only begged for food and uh, the other material needs of the friars, but he also cared for the street poor. He instructed the children on the streets. He visited the sick, the lonely, and the aged, those who were uh, cut off so much from society. Uh, he showed them God's love and care by his own gentleness and kindness and sharing of the gifts that he had begged for. St. Ignatius uh, was known to be a very holy man. And at one level, we could say, well, he wasn't anything special, uh, but he did perform his daily duties with extraordinary love. He was a gentle man. He lived a life of exemplary virtue. And St. Ignatius uh, is a great example for us to do the ordinary things in life with extraordinary love. We Capuchins are praying for you this day on his feast, and we ask that you continue to pray for us.